Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use the WSL Remote Containers extension in Visual Studio Code. So to start out, I'm in a directory called Go Playground under D GitHub. And there's one file in here which is hello world.go. I've got it open here in the editor and you can see it's just a print line hello world. Let's go ahead and try and run it with our terminal here. So you can see right away I don't have Go installed, so it doesn't know what it's trying to run here. But I do have a WSL distro with Go installed. And that's the one down at the bottom that says Go distro. So I want to open this workspace in the Go distro. I'm going to press F1 on my keyboard or Control Shift P, or I can alternatively go up to View and open the command palette. From here, I want to search for the extension I'm using, which is the remote WSL. And I've got a few different options here. Uh, new window and reopen folder will use my default distribution, which you can see from the list I did a minute ago is Ubuntu 20.04. So I'm going to pick the new window using distro option. And I'll select go distro. So you can see in the bottom left corner, my remote workspace is now WSL Go Distro. Let's go ahead and open the folder I was using, which since WSL maps your drives to a mount point under MNT, we're going to use MNT D GitHub Go Distro, or excuse me, Go Playground. I'll go ahead and select OK. I've still got hello world.go and the terminal is now a bash terminal because I'm using Linux. Let's try to run the same program again. All right, there you have it. Now that's how to open it using Visual Studio Code. There's another way to open it from the command line. So let's switch over to Windows Terminal. Okay, I'm here in my Windows Terminal in PowerShell. And as I mentioned, there's a way to open the workspace in Visual Studio Code from the command line. So to do that, I'm going to use the code command and specify that I want to open this in a remote terminal by using the remote flag. And I'll pass in WSL plus, and then the name of my distribution that I want to use, which was Go Distro. And now I need to pass in the workspace to open, which if you'll remember was under the D GitHub Go Playground directory. And let's run that. All right, and there you have it. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.